are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber you know what i love you so much thank you for returning back here thank you for your love thank you for your support i really appreciate much much and may god bless you but if it's the first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends i know that today you are very excited because guys i promised you to come back with part two of Pamela's story and that's what I am going to be sharing with you today. A Kenyan lady by the name of Pamela who got abandoned at the bus station in the night in Mombasa by her German boyfriend. This boyfriend came before her so they agreed to meet in Mombasa and after arriving this guy was nowhere to be seen. So, before I continue this love story, please, please, if you did not watch part one, go back, watch part one, and then return back here to watch part two. Because if you watch part one, then watch part two, that's when the story becomes more juicier and you get to understand better. So, friends, where we stopped last time in part one, Pamela, yes, got abandoned at the bus station but luckily came a local guy who talked to her and was like this place is very risky to stay because it is late at night you are a woman it is better you take a hotel nearby and then tomorrow your boyfriend can come to pick you pamela listened took a hotel and slept at that hotel but kept on calling jeff the whole night hoping maybe Jeff is going to pick the call, but it did not happen. He did not pick the call. And the next morning, Pamela tells us at 8, called, Jeff did not pick. Then at 10, nothing. Then midday, nothing. At 2, nothing. She decided to go take a walk. And as she was taking a walk, decided to send a message to Jeff hoping he will respond to the message and kept on taking a walk. But Jeff did not respond to that message. She had to call again. And this time, guys, guess what? <laughs> Finally, Jeff responded to her call. It was around 3 p.m. And Pamela tells us, due to the whole stress that she had to go through did not eat anything was really really hungry so when this jeff picked the call pamela was like why are you doing all this to me we agreed to meet at the bus station yesterday why is that you did not come why is that you were not picking my calls then Jeff was like, I'm really sorry, just tell me where you are, send me the address, and I am going to come. Pamela had to send him the address of the hotel where she was staying, and then she had to go back to the hotel to wait for Jeff. So friends, after half an hour of them talking on the phone, Jeff arrived at the hotel where Pamela had spent a night. Yeah. And guys, Afro Cinema is about to begin. <laughs> Afro <laughs> Cinema. So, when he arrived, guys, he was still in the car and Pamela had to go close to the car because he was still inside the car. Then he got out of the car, Pamela went to hug him, you know, hugging your boyfriend. <laughs> But this girl has won a cup of being patient. <laughs> Imagine, guys, a guy who abandoned you late at night at the bus station. You go to hug him. <laughs> he was not going to get my hug at all. But Pamela went to hug him. And guess what? <laughs> this guy pushed Pamela. Never wanted to hug her. Greeted her by hand. Gave her a hand. 
Oh my God, guys. Pamela was so surprised and was like, what have I done now? Also tells us, felt so embarrassed because there were people at the hotel, you know, outside <laughs> in the gardens looking at them. And they saw that action of Jeff pushing her. I'm telling you guys, the things black women go through in the name of love, it's really a lot. It's a lot. These are the few things, you know, that we get a chance to know. But not everyone will come here and tell their story. And I really thank Pamela to be open to share with us her love story and everything that she went through so that we can learn. So let's not go so heavy on the comment section with this lady. Please, please, let's all appreciate because we get a lot to learn from a story like hers. So after that incident of Jeff pushing her, he added that we need to talk. Let's go to your room. Then Pamela was like, we are going to talk on the way going to your hotel. There is no need to go to my room to talk. But Jeff told her, no, we go to your room because I can even pay for you to stay here. So guys, Pamela responded that I want to do such a thing. Why are you doing all this to me? I did not go home because of you. You told me to come join you here, spend some time here together, and then you go to see my parents. So why would you want me to stay here? I'm not going to accept that. And eventually, Jeff told her, it's okay, go bring your suitcases. So she headed to the room to pick her suitcases. But while heading to the room, was talking to God, God, please not this time. What is happening? So picked her suitcases, went to the car, and Jeff helped her to put the suitcases in the car and they all entered in the car and started moving so as they were moving pamela told jeff i haven't eaten since yesterday and that's when jeff saw a supermarket i think it's called naiva if i can remember very well if anyone from mombasa is watching this please correct me <laughs> or i'm going to talk to pamela so that she can clarify that so he stopped at that supermarket to buy her some fruits and water. So while Jeff in the supermarket, Pamela kept asking herself loads of questions with no answers. But at that point, knew that they were heading to a renting apartment where Jeff was staying. <laughs> yeah. So yes, Jeff returned back with fruits and water gave it to her and yeah, cause she was hungry, started eating. So as she was eating, that's when Jeff told her that I need to tell you something. Then Pamela was like, what is it? <laughs> like in a shock and very nervous, wanting to know what Jeff is about to tell her. So guys, eventually Jeff broke the news to Pamela and told her that there is another girl. Pamela was like, no, I can't believe it. It's not true. You are joking. He said, no, I'm not joking. There is another girl. And where I'm staying now, you cannot stay there. So the plan is, I am going to rent another apartment for you so that you can stay there. And if you are not okay with it, you can go back home, think about it, and then let me know. Oh my God, Pamela tells us it was another heartbreak. She couldn't believe it at all. So Jeff told Pamela that whether you believe it or not, I have another girl. This lady has been helping me since I came to Mombasa. She has been washing my clothes. She has been cooking for me. She has been really, really good. She has got a 15 years old son. I like her, but we need to talk. If she can take the son to the father, then we think about it. At that time, Pamela was like, 
how about me? <laughs> you know, because this guy is telling her plans with another woman and she's there. So how about me? What is your plan with me? <laughs> Then he responded, we need to talk. We will see how things goes between me, the lady, and you. Mm. Pamela was still in a shock, guys. And I know most of you are going to judge her, be like, what is she still doing there? <laughs> <laughs> go back home but guys remember their relationship has gone to four years plus so imagine all that time of course you get emotionally attached to that guy you love him crazily you have got lots of plans with him and without forgetting this time around jeff was supposed to go see pamela's parents so they were waiting for him because they knew about him so when all those things happened suddenly <laughs> In front of Pamela's eyes, she couldn't think straight. She was still confused on what to do. But if you are a lady, you are still searching for love and you are watching this video, let us know to do same mistakes that Pamela did. That's the intention of me sharing with you this video. Guys, a guy doesn't need to tell you it's over. A guy doesn't need to tell you, I don't love you anymore. You don't need to wait till that extent. You who are on online dating apps, you haven't found anyone serious maybe to meet in real life. Don't wait for a guy to block you. Don't wait for a guy to ghost you. Follow online dating tapes. Stop being too soft. Stop being a yes girl. You see something is not sitting right, react, I repeat. Because we understand at first yes, Pamela did a mistake of accepting the apology when this guy left to Germany without even saying goodbye to her. Sent her to buy a bread, she returned to the hotel, the guy is nowhere to be seen. So to me, that was going to be the end between me and Jeff. But she did that mistake, forgave him, and they started again their relationship. The second incident that Pamela was not supposed to accept or to allow is her being abandoned at the bus station at night. You abandoned me at the bus station at night. The next morning, I was going to take a bus and go back home. Ciao, ciao. End of our relationship. Because we see, yes, she accepted everything. Yes, she decided to be a very understanding girlfriend. But what did she gain? She did not gain anything. But this guy kept on torturing her emotionally. Yeah, because what this guy is doing right now to her, it is emotional torture. So never ever allow such kind of a thing. Let's continue with this story. So guys, Jeff kept on opening up to her and she doesn't know why <laughs> this guy was opening up <laughs> at that time and even says, maybe it's God that was making Jeff to open up so that she can get to understand well how things are. Yeah. So Jeff told her, even when I refused you not to pick me at the airport, it's because I had not arrived that same same day. No, I was in Mombasa for two weeks with her. Oh my God. So this all explains to why this guy got sick, changing environment, changing the food, who knows? Who knows, guys? And another thing, in the tips that I have been sharing with you, I told you that you are not supposed to ignore any red flag. If something seems, looks like a red flag, don't ignore it. Because for someone else, in the first video that I shared, part one, if I had told you, you guys, when a guy tells you, don't come to pick me at the airport, that's a red flag, 
some of you could have come after me. <laughs> I'd be like, no, Bella, sometimes you have to be understanding. It's nothing. It's not nothing, girl. Don't ignore any red flag. So this was a very huge red flag to Pamela when this guy refused not to be picked at the airport. Let us shine our eyes. <laughs> Another thing that I want to advise you guys if you are a lady in your 30s, 40s, 50s and above, you are searching for love, right now, it's not time to play. Right now, it's not time to just give your goodies anyhow. You're not young anymore. I'm not telling you you're too old or to pressure you. You need to find love. No. But in your search for love, you have to change the way maybe you were doing things when you were in your 20s. Because in your 20s, of course, sometimes <laughs> we do mistakes, you know, give the goodies to guys <laughs> just easily like that. The guy tells you, I love you. You're beautiful. I've never seen a beautiful woman like you. <laughs> You're just like an angel and then oh, then you fall down on his feet and give the goodies. <laughs> if it doesn't work, you still have more time to keep trying, you know, <laughs> till you find that right man. But if you're in your 30s and above, there is not that time of just giving your goodies anyhow. Like I said last time, of getting pregnant anyhow. No, guys, it's time to search for a quality guy. The guy that you are going to date, the guy that you are going to be chatting with, give your time to that guy. He should deserve that. If you're going to give your goodies to that guy, he should deserve being given the goodies. <laughs> So it shouldn't only stop at once and then you give out your goodies. Please, please. Oh, a guy shouldn't come to you, start telling you words and then you chat, you chat, you chat, you chat. No meeting. Years are going and you are in your 30s. You are in your 40s. You are making a very big mistake. You are wasting your time. So no time to waste. You see a guy online, he is not serious. He's talking of things that does not make sense at all. I know guys, I'm talking to intelligent ladies. I know. <laughs> some of you have put you in some tests without you knowing, especially my clients, to see, you know, <laughs> how you reason, to see if you really know what you want and you guys have passed to that. So that is why I'm saying I'm talking to intelligent ladies that knows what they want so don't be deceived by what follow online dating rules states okay <laughs> so yes guys apparently this guy enjoyed the goodies in mombasa with the other lady when he first came and then went to nairobi enjoyed the goodies with pamela Oh my God, when I think of that, I get super, super angry. Because yes, you can use protection, you know, maybe in enjoying the goodies, but the whole thing, you know, of sleeping with someone who had just, you know, slept with someone else that you don't know, oh, this really irritates me a lot. Even if you want to give out your goodies, please, please, take your time and Pamela tells us yes she did not give out the goodies you know the first day <laughs> she stayed like I think two or three days and then she gave out her goodies but this lady did not have enough experience to watch the red flags if you've been following me you remember when I told you to be a detective <laughs> when you are dating a guy he goes to the bathroom, check out his phone. <laughs> you see, so if you are really, really careful, if a guy has got another lady, if a guy is married, you will know. There is no way you are not going to find out. There is no way, guys. And when it comes to giving out your goodies, I need a video. You can go and watch it on when to give your goodies. But take your time get to understand the real intentions 
of this guy that came to Africa to meet you for the first time, especially if you are in your thirties and above. <laughs> okay. Cause you need to understand, is this guy after family? Is this guy who wants marriage? Is this guy more interested in getting to know me better <laughs> so that you can make a very healthy relationship? Does he want to know about the job that I do? Does he want to know maybe the business that I do? Does he want to know maybe my challenges that I face? all of that does he want to know my family or it's me you know forcing on him to go see my family <laughs> or he is saying i want to go see your family but the actions tells you that he's just saying it doesn't mean that he wants to go see your parents because if you told me i want to go see your parents i want to know what do you want to tell my parents so if you ask a guy what are you going to tell my parents and then this guy is like oh just go to say hello <laughs> so why should they take you to a parent <laughs> why <laughs> so let's be careful guys and let's continue with the story because every time i have lots of tips to share with you guys and without knowing the video is long already <laughs> so let's keep on going so yes guys pamela hearing all that was heartbroken but did not want to cry in front of him you know tried to act strong <laughs> but deep inside was dying oh my god poor young lady so guys, Pamela tells us she has got a very strong bond with her elder sister. So had to call her elder sister, tell her everything that Jeff has got another lady and wants to rent another apartment for me. What can I do? So the sister told her, because you have got some money with you, I think you should just, you know, enjoy like your own vacation, accept him to rent an apartment for you, then stay there, enjoy yourself after that time, then come back home. See how things will go with time. So Pamela asked the sister not to tell the parents anything that happened because that was going to be a very big disappointment to the parents. So I was like, let's keep this as a secret. So Jeff told her that I am going to do like how I did the last time. I've spent two weeks already because I did not come on fifth like you knew. No, I've been here for two weeks. So I am going to be staying with you on the apartment that I'm going to rent for you for two weeks. So two weeks, you, two weeks, <laughs> the other lady. Now you can agree with me that these bad white guys because not all white guys are bad these bad ones the things that they do to us black african women they can't do those things to white ladies no 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 this is the truth guys so if this jeff had his own fantasies you know of owning because <laughs> these people are so crazy <laughs> They own you as an object, you know, treat you like an object. So he had his own fantasies of owning two black African women and he succeeded. But with white ladies, no white lady could agree such kind of a thing. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> I've seen this because I remember when I first came here, you know, <laughs> to visit my husband so there was a birthday party <laughs> of the colleague to my husband and we went to that birthday party and because the colleagues you know they formed to be friends family because they spend you know most of the times together so the ex-girlfriend like like the last last girlfriend that my husband had <laughs> came to that birthday party without knowing that I was there. And for me, the impression that I got, though I could ask my husband, my boyfriend at that time, he could only smile, you know, not telling me clearly how things ended. But it's like the lady wanted to try again, you know, you know, give it a try. <laughs> and boom, surprise, phone me at that birthday party. Oh my God. <laughs> 
So at first I was inside, she didn't see me and my husband, other colleagues were, were outside this hotel. So she came and hugged him so tightly and then I had to go out with other friends of my husband. Then that's when she saw me and my husband introduced me to her like, this is my girlfriend. Oh my God, I saw her face turning. <laughs> So we stayed there and, and we had to sit on the same table. I'm telling you guys, she did not eat. She was so uncomfortable and left before the party ended. Yeah, that's how these people are. <laughs> if he wants things to continue, you will see it. And if everything has ended, nothing between them, you will also see it. You know, she was going to act normal and yeah, enjoy, be happy for him. <laughs> so no white woman will ever accept a guy to date this lady and then date this lady and they all know. Unless those ladies have got something wrong here in their mind. <laughs> Yeah, strange relationships because, yeah, those ones exist. One day I'll come with a video about that. <laughs> because exist very strange, strange relationships. Even in marriage, if you have ever had like an open relationship, you guys are married but you have got a very open relationship. Those ones, yes, yeah, some couples choose that. That's their choice. So yes, guys, Jeff took her to an apartment that he wanted to rent for her. And when they arrived at the gate, you know, that guard that stays at the gate, security talked to Pamela in Swahili that Jeff does not understand. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're so beautiful. Not like the lady that came with him here two weeks ago to look for an apartment. She was darker tall and slim and he introduced her to me as his wife so i don't understand <laughs> so pamela was like okay jeff went ahead and rented an apartment there for her so they entered in the room and jeff told her you sleep here alone tonight but tomorrow i'm going to come back because i want to go there take my bags and then come stay with you here. So while in the room, they were still talking to Pamela, this other lady <laughs> kept on calling and commanding. It reached to an extent Jeff had to leave and go to the other woman. But Pamela knew that the next day, Jeff was returning to her to stay with her. So yes, guys, the next day when Pamela woke up, called Jeff. Jeff was not picking again. She kept on calling and calling and calling. He was not picking and he had also promised her that they were going to do some shopping, buy things for that apartment, food and everything. But he is not picking the call guys. So at that point, Pamela started crying, but kept on calling and calling. And then eventually picked the call and was like, Pamela, I'm sorry, I cannot come because this lady has refused me to come. She has blocked all my things. Pamela at that time was really, really angry and told him, you are an adult. How can someone control you? Or you just tell me if you love her, you want to stay with her, I'm going to leave you alone. Then Jeff was like, no, I want to stay with you. But the problem is she is holding my things. <laughs> Oh my god, this is drama, yeah. But Pamela tells us she was not going to give her goodies at all, at all, because later on came to find out that the other lady is a party girl. <laughs> Likes go clubbing and all that, whereby Pamela is an introvert. <laughs> Her day was like going to work, come back home, you know, <laughs> weekend, clean the house, then go to church. Tells us she started learning like going out when she was in Tanzania. Yeah. But before when she was in Nairobi, before going to Tanzania, never went out because is an introvert. So getting to know that the other lady is a party girl, mm, she started getting really scared like, no. I'm going to protect my goodies. 
So guys, Pamela spent two days alone in that apartment. Jeff is nowhere to be seen. And then eventually came, gave her some money to buy some food and told her he will not come again to stay with her for two weeks, just like how he had promised. So gave her the money and then left. So when he left, Pamela cried so, so much knelt down and called God, tells us she called God like she will never call him again, was like, God, please heal my heart. I am so heartbroken. I feel so lonely. I don't want to do anything bad to myself. Please, please, God, heal your daughter. So while praying was crying and after finishing the prayer, tells us instantly, felt a relief, felt at peace, and felt very, very relaxed. So later on, Jeff called Pamela and was like, I cannot be with you anymore because I don't even know what you did in Tanzania. <laughs> but the truth is, the other lady was putting bad thoughts telling Jeff bad, bad things about Pamela so that Jeff can forget completely <laughs> Pamela. So that is why he was like, I don't know what you're doing in Tanzania, whereby Jeff, all this time, while Pamela in Tanzania, he was there talking to her, telling her he loves her, telling her to leave her job because he is going to Kenya to meet her parents. So suddenly, now he does not trust anything that she was doing in Tanzania, so he doesn't want to keep on the relationship with her. So Pamela called her sister again and her sister told her that as long as Jeff has paid for that apartment for two weeks, just stay there and then go out, relax your mind. After those two weeks, you can come back home. And the sister had told the mother already of what happened. You know, our mothers are our best friends. <laughs> yeah, but they never told anything to the dad. So Pamela went out, did some shopping, and after doing her shopping, went back to the apartment. Then later, received a call from Jeff telling her that she should give her passport to him. Pamela was so surprised, like, why would you guys want my passport? Whereby the apartment, it's Jeff that paid. So I think they wanted to put her in trouble. <laughs> yeah, but she refused and Jeff was like, you're big headed, you know, <laughs> naki buri. <laughs> but she did not care. I was like, no, I am not going to give you my passport. So Pamela tells us, remembers very well, it was on 8th when Jeff called her and was like, I need to go back to Germany because my dad got an accident. Pamela was like, I'm really sorry about your dad. He said, thank you. And it's okay. If you want to go, you just go. After all, she's not staying with him at the apartment. She's just trying to do what her sister advised her to do. Relax her mind and enjoy herself without Jeff. So Jeff told her he is going to come the next day. It was on 9th, same, same day that Jeff was returning back to Germany, told her I'll come in the morning to come and say goodbye. Pamela was like, it's okay. And yes, the next day Jeff came with his suitcases, stayed with Pamela. They talked, told her that and brought lots, lots of gifts for her. But the other lady took them because <laughs> Pamela told us he used to ask her like her shoe size, you know, sizes of different stuffs. So Jeff bought everything for her. But when he went to see the other lady, the other lady took everything. The only thing that remained and Jeff had to hide it from her was a pair of pyjama written love. So that day, Jeff gave her that pyjama and told her it was a gift that he bought from Germany. The other thing that he gave to Pamela 
was a gold necklace and told her, I'm giving you this gold necklace because you have got a golden heart. I've never seen a lady who has got a very good heart like you. This necklace is my mother's necklace but I'm gifting it to you. So he helped her put it on and gave her some earrings, then hugged her. Right now, I know you're like, oh my God, maybe this guy was really in love with Pamela. But guys, for me, for everything that Jeff has done, I'm telling you, this guy was never in love with Pamela. Neither the other lady. No, guys, he wasn't in love with anyone. <laughs> For him, it started like a joke, but due to how the other lady reacted, that is when things became really difficult for him to handle. But if this lady was soft as Pamela, I'm telling you, he could have dated both of them without knowing, and when he gets tired, could have dumped them all. This is the truth. So him giving her, I don't know, the necklace, the earrings. <laughs> no, that was just trying to clean himself to look good. Remember guys, I told you something about toxic guys. They are very, very manipulative, especially if you are weak. Yeah, so with me, this Jeff was not a good guy at all. He was just a player that found himself in a complicated situation with the other lady in Mombasa. And even if he had wanted to take next steps with the other lady in Mombasa, still did not love her because a guy who truly loves you will never tell you to give away your kid to the father, the father that never cared about that kid when the kid was little, you just give the kid away like that and go to him. That is so selfish. That is why I'm concluding that Jeff is manipulative. He is a player. He is toxic and very immature. So yes, time to go came and she escorted him, you know, till at the gate and they hugged, said goodbye. He left. Pamela stayed in Mombasa and then when the days ended, she had to go back to Nairobi. So arriving in Nairobi, the dad had found out, was very, very angry at her and was like, you're here wasting time. You want a white guy, you want a white guy. Now look, she felt really, really bad and was like, maybe it's my fault. Cause Pamela tells us honestly, all her life has been facing rejection. Even with friends, she helps friends and later on, same same friends turn against her, reject her for no reason. So when the rejection happened with Jeff, she was like, maybe it was my fault, but it wasn't Pamela's fault at all. The only thing I can say, she didn't have enough experience when it comes to dating. And this is also because she is an introvert. These people tend not to have lots of experiences when it comes to love, when it comes to how the outside world can be. Yeah. <laughs> but she later on concluded that if someone really loves you, will stick with you. And this is the truth. Because if really Jeff loved her, could not have dated her, and then dated another woman. Never, it couldn't have happened. Yeah, maybe he did a mistake and chatted with two ladies, but still was going to be like, no. Bye, lady from Mombasa, I'm staying with Pamela. But the fact that he kept on dating both of them, that does not make him a good guy. That does not make him a guy who really loved Pamela. So she was like, okay. I let it go. And later, yes, Jeff called her to ask for forgiveness. I was like, I don't know what happened to me. I really wish you could find a place in your heart to forgive me. And Pamela was like, yeah, I forgive you. But it ended just like that because later on, he disappeared completely on her life. So guys, when that relationship ended, Pamela had to heal and tells us in 2020, joined Tinder. Her experience on Tinder wasn't a good one at all. Could meet guys who could want hookups, 
and serious things like asking for nude photos but she kept on moving forward so never met a real person on tinder so from 2020 december till 2023 this year <laughs> met someone on tinder received a message from a guy on tinder and this guy was from norway <laughs> yeah but with this whole experience that pamela went through was like bella i made a greatest mistake ever in my life and right now as i am talking i am so heartbroken and angry at myself because even after watching you for so long i still did this biggest mistake of my life i have messed up again and feels like it's her fault because she has got the guidance the videos that i share on youtube but still did this mistake again because tells us even if she was lonely even if she was desperate to find someone she was not supposed to do what she did and right now i know you are like oh my god bella what did she do what happened <laughs> so uh, let me continue telling you what happened you know after that breakup and her joining on tinder then from 2020 till 2023 meaning this year so guys pamela tells us has been lonely all her life because never had like a boyfriend to stay with for a long period of time it has never ever happened and living alone when the night comes she feels really lonely i know if you're a single lady you live alone and some of you maybe you don't have even kids to distract you or when your kids go to bed it's at night that's when the loneliness comes i totally understand because i have been there so pamela tells us at night could feel so lonely so at her age i told you she is 29 needed a man needed someone to give her a shoulder to lean on to tell her it's okay when things are not going well or when she is not feeling it's okay because pamela could look around all her sisters are married her age mates and she is still single that could really break her heart i totally understand you so to her story on tinder with this norwegian guy tells us some months back received a message on tinder from a norwegian guy this guy was like hi how are you i just landed in nairobi today can you recommend any other place that i can see because i want to look around in nairobi i've been to nairobi museum i'm thinking if you tell me a little bit about nairobi or we can meet and you show me around so pamela tells us after all that happened with jeff yes tried to see some people but later on they ghosted her so she had trust issues but decided to text him back I was like welcome to nairobi where are you the guy was like i am in town can we meet then pamela responded yes we can meet because she was free that evening but also tells us like a day before was asking herself lots of questions you know due to loneliness it's not that she was too desperate but due to how she is seeing her life you know there is a time when you are single you sit down you start asking yourself lots of questions of what will happen what will be of your life so that is what pamela was doing like a day before this guy texted my sisters are married i'm here single what will be my life oh lord will i stay single forever you know so when this guy texted was like maybe i can meet this guy he can be a good company even if we don't have a relationship who knows what will happen after 
So yes guys, the evening came, Pamela prepared herself and went to town to meet this Norwegian guy that texted her on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, and eventually they met, they were happy to see each other, hugged. So this guy was staying in a hotel in town, so took Pamela to his hotel room to show her, you know, the room. <laughs> and when Pamela saw it, it was just a normal room compared to her apartment. She has got a very fancy apartment. You know, everything is there. You know, she's comfortable. So seeing that hotel room, and cause she has got a very big heart, <laughs> like I told you, a golden heart, told this guy, you know what? You can leave this hotel and come to my apartment. Imagine guys. So yes, she told the guy, I've got a very big apartment. You can just leave this hotel room and come to my place. The guy was really, really happy and said, sure, why not? But Pamela tells us that was the biggest mistake of her life. So guys, I had told you before that I don't like part one, part two kind of stories. But this story is long, oh. <laughs> I won't be able to finish it today, but I promise you that next time I am going to come with the last part. We won't have another like part four, part five, no. It's gonna end on part three because this one is long already, guys. <laughs> I hope all that I have shared in this part two have taught you a lot. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super, super good. Don't forget to comment below what you think about this video. Go lighter, don't go so heavy on this lady because we need to know what happened <laughs> on part three. Remember, she is here reading your comments okay <laughs> so guys i love you so so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.